Why routines help with behaviour management. Routines help children know who should do what, when, in what order, and how often. For example, the bedtime routine involves brushing teeth, going to the toilet, and having a book read. A routine can also help you plan for challenging times and activities when your child often misbehaves, like when you're shopping, driving, or visiting. For example, a simple routine for driving might be listening to music or playing I Spy together before your child looks at books by herself. Routines built around play, meals and sleep can be used to make sure children have enough good quality sleep, nutritious food and plenty of play, which is likely to result in better behaviour throughout the day. When children are involved in a good routine, not only do they feel confident and in control, they also learn to develop positive social skills, as well as a sense of satisfaction in being able to do things for themselves. For example, during arrival and departure at childcare, children learn important social routines, such as saying hello, good morning, and goodbye. So routines have always been important for Pippa because she has always been a pretty anxious kid. Uh, we found that having the same routine in the mornings are uh, particularly helpful, uh, especially when we go to childcare. So it's always the same. We get up, have cuddles, have a bit of a talk, and then it's breakfast time. Uh, we give her choices over breakfast, but she always knows that that's what's happening. After breakfast, we change the days of the week uh, so that she knows what is happening for the day. I've found that having pictures from a, quite an early age uh, really helped. So from one, we had pictures to help her and she understood what was happening next. So I've got pictures of what she can expect for the day and that just gives her a bit of a, uh, um, a cue I guess when we're getting changed as to what to expect next so she gets changed next and then if there's time she has some free play and then she knows it's time for childcare or swimming or whatever it is that we've just got ready for. What day is it then? Wednesday! Wednesday! So no childcare today we're going to hang out together and have fun all day today. <laughs> Routines are really big in our household, um, especially having three young children. So we do have uh, a bedtime routine. Um, I think it's really important for children as well to have a routine as they can know what comes next. So with our bedtime routine, we all gather around on the couch. Um, we read books. Um, every child brings a book to us. We read books. We have story time. Um, after the story time, we all gather into the bathroom and we brush our teeth. Um, and it's, it's really good because the children then um, get a bit of independence as well, putting their toothpaste on their toothbrush. So when Pippa does follow the routines, especially early on, where probably about just before she was two, we had all of her nighttime routines up on a chart with the pictures of what to expect next that we could refer to so we would go through and each time that she prompted the next move in the routine we would always praise her with my three and a half year old she did have some trouble sleeping so um, we got her this beautiful lamp here and this grow clock and with this grow clock Sarah then knows um, once she's in her room and it's time for bed this clock changes from the sun for the day and if you press the button it then does a wink and goes to sleep and it changes to the stars. So Zara then knows it is night time, um, you set it to a certain time and then she knows in the morning it changes back to the sun and it's time for wake up. So that gives her a lot of independence as well as well as with her night lamp which she has her little toys on there and this night lamp she presses one button and it's pink so that um, obviously gives her a bit of security as well 
um, and she can change it, change it to whatever colour she likes. Um, and then in the morning, basically, when she wakes up, she knows to turn it off. So, yeah, I think that um, is really important, um, as I said, yeah, with routines. Um, but, yeah, especially bedtime routine because it um, allows them as well to know what comes next um, and, yeah, it gives them some independence. Routines don't mean you and your family are rigid or inflexible. Changes and last minute diversions are a normal part of life. Some children don't like change to routines. Common changes or new situations might include having visitors at your house, going somewhere new like the dentist, or switching between toys and activities. Here are some strategies to help your child cope successfully with new activities. Use visual aids. Explanations and instructions can be hard for children to follow. Using pictures and timetables will help your child understand what will happen today. Use sequencing words, first, next, last. Talk about routines with your child using language like first, next, last. Even toddlers can understand simple, consistent explanations. For example, first clean teeth, next story time with dad, Last, it is bedtime. Allow extra time. Spending some extra time making the change can help your child feel less anxious. For example, to help your child cope with someone coming to visit you at home, you might spend some time with your child getting ready for the visit. You could talk about what will happen during the visit. Plan for visits to new places. You might be able to arrange a visit to a new place, like a birthday party venue, ahead of time, perhaps during a quieter time of day. This way your child can get more familiar with the environment without being overwhelmed by lots of noise and people. If you can't do that, try looking for images of the place on the internet. Use timers. If your child finds it hard to switch from a favourite activity, a timer might help. Set the time and let your child know the activity will be over when the timer rings. This strategy can also help with leaving the house. For example, when the timer rings, it's time to go. Make small changes. It can help to introduce small changes and work your way up over time. For example, if your child insists on eating breakfast first and then getting dressed, but you want her to get dressed before breakfast, you could start by just putting her socks on and letting her eat breakfast. Once she's comfortable with that, you could try putting on her socks and pants before breakfast, and so on. Praise and reward your child when he's able to be flexible and cope with these changes. Good luck implementing your new routines. With planning and some persistence, a good routine will help everyone feel more calm and in control.